ओम श्री साई राम वेलकम टू प्रेजेंट दिस संदेश साई पर्ल्स ऑफ विजडम इन दिस सीरीज वी हैव बीन शेयरिंग विथ यू द एक्सपीरियंसेस एंड द मेरिकल्स ऑफ भगवान श्री सत साई बाबा मेनी मेनी ऑफ द पार्टिसिपेंट्स of the these podcast talks have been eagerly waiting for the next publication in other words how interested our devotees are in these miracles and experiences today let me share with you some more experiences as you know in bhagavad gita bhagwan krishna tells arjuna the word sat is used in the sense of reality and of goodness and also o partha the word sat is used in the sense of an auspicious act the word sat denotes sadbhava sadhu bhava means goodness in the same way sat also denotes good work bhagwan shri sat sai baba enhances virtue and goodness in all people he inspires individuals to become better human beings swami constantly showers his grace on his students and helps them to transform themselves he has established educational institutions to fulfill this purpose these institutes impart quality education which is based on human values whereby a lot of importance is given to morality and pure character well in this context i would like to draw your attention to two incidents which reveal how children who have gone astray should be reformed and how goodness should be nurtured in good natured children the first one from the summer showers course held in vrindavan 1973 around 800 students attended that course and many of them do not know about bhagwan and the strict discipline uh, that that has to be followed by them about 800 many of them do not know what to do but however two students found it the discipline torturous so one evening they went out of the ashram they had non vegetarian food and smoked cigarettes they also went uh, they also went for a movie and came back stealthily at night they thought nobody would know about their escapade but what can remain hidden from the omniscient swami next morning he called them and asked about the previous evening at first they need, they denied everything but when swami materialized a photo in which they were seen smoking they were speechless and started weeping in repentance the ever affectionate swami forgave them so that they could be encouraged now to cultivate good qualities the second incident is from the boys hostel one night swami visited the hostel suddenly the electricity went off and the student heard swami's voice telling him put your hands behind put your hands behind as he did that swami placed a laddu in his hands within minutes the power supply was resumed 
and all the students realized that each one of them had a laddu in his hand whatever was experienced by one had been experienced by all so each one had heard swami's voice and each one had a laddu in his hand everyone was ecstatic why did swami perform this leela no doubt he wanted to make students happy but beyond that the prime motivation was to enhance devotion good qualities and values in each of them <coughs> as we know god incarnates in order to increase and sustain virtue and righteousness in people whenever the life of a virtuous person is beset with difficulties swami provides the strength to cope with these difficulties and removes the obstacles that hamper one's progress once the daughter of sri radha krishna chetty an old time devotee of swami from kuppam chittur district andhra pradesh shrimati vijay kumari the daughter of radha krishna chetty and her husband sri hem chand had gone for swami's darshan swami came up to them and said kumaramma meaning vijay kumari kumaramma you have been promoted when she replied in the affirmative saying oh yes swami further said you did not ask in which area of life you are promoted shani deva has entered your birth chart shani saturn <coughs> unperturbed shrimati vijay kumari the kumaramma replied oh that is very good swami why be afraid when we have god standing behind us like a mind mighty mountain there after the couple had to pass through a very difficult phase in their life they suffered a financial crisis although they had means of livelihood no income was available they were both under tremendous psychological stress but their faith in saishwara was unchanged it grew deeper and stronger once swami asked her, you need some money isn't it shall i give you some now and vijay kumari replied swami you alone are feeding us don't give us money no please swami but indirectly please help us to earn it to earn it this earnest plea with total surrender reached bhagwan swami penned them a letter in it swami wrote your prayer from the sorrowful heart has reached me it has won my heart now i am bound to you don't be sad in the near future you'll be happy very soon you'll sing and dance on the waves of ananda with swami's blessings their sufferings and misfortune finally came to an end they recovered financially and happiness dawned on them the family was able to overcome this difficult period only due to swami's support and now they are spending their old age happily contemplating on swami this is how swami always stands by those who are good and saintly sai the indwella in every heart is aware of everything not only in every individual mind but also of all the external happenings in the world seven chapter 26 shloka of bhagavad gita i know o arjuna 
the beings of the past and present and the future. But no one knows me. On many occasions devotees have experienced how Bhagavan Sri Satsai Baba is aware of each detail in individual life. Here are two incidents. <coughs> in 1976, the very well-known Sarod player, S-A-R-O-D, Ustad Amzad Ali Khan, Ustad Amzad Ali Khan was visiting Bangalore for, perform for a performance. After the program, he called on his friend, Sri Rahim Nizamuddin, who was the commissioner of police at that time. Sri Rahim was planning to put up a trip to Puttaparthi, and Amzad Ali Khan decided to accompany him. They were fortunate to be selected for an interview. As they sat with others in the interview room, Swami materialized a hot laddu, dripping with ghee, and turning to Amzad Ali, Swami said, it is made in pure ghee. Amzad Ali was astonished. He marveled as to how Swami knew that he liked sweets prepared in pure ghee. But there's more to follow. Swami called him in the inner room. At that time, Amzad Ali was under a lot of mental stress. In the inner room, Swami told him, Don't worry. Marry the same Assamese girl you have chosen. She is suited to you. Amzad Ali was amazed and was grateful to Swami for removing the confusion in his mind. He thought this fact was known to him alone. But Swami knows everything. He was grateful because his command, come blessings from Swami, cleared all his doubts about marrying that girl. There is another story about Sri Madhara of Dikshit in 1962. He was staying in Mangalore. He is the same Madhav who was fortunate to be blessed by Sri Shirdi Sainath. He along with his uncle Sri Hari Sitaram Dikshit. Hari Sitaram Dikshit was in Shirdi from 1910 to 1918. He would call his uncle Kaka, Kaka. So all others, including Shirdi Sai Baba, started referring to Sri Hari Baku Dikshit as Kaka. Sainal was very fond of child Madhav at that time. One day while he was playing, Sainal called him. He took out Udhi, Ubudhi with his right hand from the Dhuni and with his hand full of vibhuti, slapped hard on Madhav's forehead. He hit it so hard that Madhav started crying and ran to his uncle and saying, I will never come to Baba. Kaka had seen it and he said smilingly, Do you know how fortunate you are? <coughs> we are all yearning to receive such a slap from him. Why did Sai Baba do this? Madhav used to suffer from severe headaches. When Sainath slapped him, the headache vanished forever. In 1962, Sri Madhav Dikshit heard that Sai has been reborn as Sri Satsai, and is residing at Puttaparthi. But Madhav Dikshit was not ready to accept him as Sai Baba. So he decided to find out himself and travel to Puttaparthi. Swami called him for an interview. 
As soon as he entered, Swami said, Take out my kaka's photo. Take out my kaka's photo. You have it in your pocket. Isn't it? Swami also said, after I slapped your forehead, with udhi, vibhuti, your headache has not recurred. Isn't it? All of Mahadev's doubts about Swami were cleared and he was convinced of Swami's omniscience. That is Bhagwan Sri Sat Sai Baba. Thank you. Meet again.